So we're here at Cedia 2019 Expo, standing with Dan. He's going to show us uh, some really cool speakers from KEF. Excellent. Dan. Thank you for the introduction. What do you got? All right, so let's start down here. This is our LS50 speaker. This is our LS50 model. It's a passive model. It was released in 2011. It's our most popular product of all time. And so what we see here, we have this UniQ driver in the center. It has the tweeter here and the mid-range driver. So what this does is it allows for incredible off-axis response. So that means no one person is getting the sweet spot, everyone gets to enjoy whatever you're listening to. And so it's fantastic for home theater, for stereo listening. And what we did then is we took this passive guy and we put amplification inside. So now you have an amplifier, 230 watts per channel. So it's got a lot of power, a lot of presence, a lot of clarity and depth. And what we did here is we have the amplification, we also have the conversion. So you can take a pair of these, plug them into your wall, put an interconnect cable between them, you're all set up, good to go. You can use a stream from your phone, stream from a tablet, through Spotify, Tidal, Rune, everything. Can you connect, can you connect like a phono, like a uh, turntable to them directly? Right. Yeah, so you could, there is a connection for a sub out and there's also RCA left and right, so you could do a phono stage if you wanted to do that. It also has optical for direct to your TV. These are new this year? These are not new, 2017 they were released, 2,500 a pair. Nice. These are the new little brother of those. So these are called our LSX model. This is 2500, 1250 a pair. So a lot of the same idea, you know, internal amplification, you know, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, Tidal and Rune. We've also added Apple AirPlay 2 to this, so you can do that. And again, they're, they're amplified, but they only have one cable for power. Now there's no cable in between these two speakers. So that's one of the advancements from that to this. This is a newer model and it's a little bit more easy to use and a little bit more casual for our consumers in apartments, things like that. Well, that's great. I see it's got a lot of colors too, exactly. a lot of options. I don't know if you can take a look around, but we have the blue, the red, the white, the green, and the black all set up here. So we have the different colors for different environments. Um, they also have that little fabric to them that people were really happy about if you want to. <laughs> and then you got some of these big towers. Sure, absolutely. If you want to take a look down here. Absolutely. So we'll start here with this is our reference one model. This is the bookshelf from the reference series, and we have it in the black and copper foundry edition here. There's a reference three, which is the medium-sized tower. It's not here. Reference five is the big guy. 20,000 for a pair of these. It would be 14,000 for the medium, 8,000 for the pair of, of reference one bookshelf speakers. And these are going to be our top of the line kind of, like where we have an introductory, a higher level, and then top level speaker. Amazing, amazing. And then we come down here. And these are our flagship models. These are really impressive, and everyone likes to take a look at these. These are really cool. So this is our Blade and our Blade 2. We have these available for 32000 and 25000 That's all? Yeah. <laughs> it's just chump change, yeah. Beautiful. yeah. Beautiful, though. But they are all handmade in the UK. When you order it, each speaker is done with a, a custom, uh, I'm sorry, a worker takes it from beginning to end. It's all their design, all their handiwork. So literally, you know, place the order, it starts to get made in our original location in Maidstone in the UK. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. 32,000 a pair, 25,000, like I said. And this guy, you can even get in any color you want. So we have people getting yellow and red and some unique colors, but those are the typical colors we have available. And this one is available in the black in the area. Happy to show you around. So what else you got here today that you can show us? Sure. So we're going down the line. This is going to be our R series here. And you'll see a lot of similarities between this and the reference model over there. This is our R11. It's the biggest tower in the series. This is 5,500 a pair. And then what you'll see is we have the white, the walnut, and the black. And these are the three different colors for the R series. Oh, wow. We have the magnetic grill. A little bit of perforation here so you can get the, you know, no interference from these. And then you have black on black, walnut, walnut, white on white. So that's R11 is the tallest one. R3 is the bookshelf speaker in this line, 2,000 for a pair. And then you have the R5, with the, with the, which is the smallest tower in the lineup of the R series. So this was released late 2018. So it's doing very well, really popular. Awesome. And finally, this is Q series. This is our introductory line. The Q950 is the biggest tower. And we recently came out with this walnut finish with the black drivers. 
really doing well, and you know, you can see it here, I'll get out of the way. But you have the walnut, the black, and the white, it's called a satin finish, so it has a little bit of a texture to it, if you want to take right, a feel. Right, right. Nice. And then that's the smallest tower in the series. This is the bigger bookshelf. We also have a smaller bookshelf that's not here. There's a medium tower that we didn't bring as well. And then these guys are the Q50A. It's a Dolby Atmos module. Okay. So if you're familiar, you put it on top of the speaker in the front of your space. It shoots the, the signal up towards the ceiling and reflects down to the listener. And you can add that on to any one of these series? Yeah, so you can buy them by themselves. It comes as a pair. I see. And you can put them on top. Like, let's say you had a bookshelf on the front. You could even put it on top of this. You can put it on top of your tower. Are they wall mountable for real? Yes, wall sir. So oh, you nice. actually have the keyholes. You predicted it. Nice, That's the other nice. thing too. We have the keyhole here, <laughs> and we're really happy with that because I like to recommend them as rear surrounds. Yeah, the safe. driver size is excellent for that kind of thing. I like the way it tilts forward. Exactly, so it it's down facing downward. Yep. Yeah, that's great. And then your center channels. Yes, sir. So we have the Q650C is the bigger one here. Over here. Yeah, sure. Uh, and then we, this is actually really recent, it's just coming available, it's a smaller center channel called the Q250C. And again, you see the walnut, and a little bit of uh, a magnetic grill, more typical feel to that. Uh, That's amazing. Very good. Excellent, yeah. What else you got to show us today? Uh, we checked out the LSX, the only other thing I would take a week to look at our subwoofers and our custom installation line. Definitely, I'd like to take a look at those. Alright, let's go follow me. All right. All right, so we got some subs. Yeah, this is the this is our reference subwoofer. So we have seven thousand for one of these. Wow. It's got a, yeah, it's, it's this a, thing it's must sound really good. Absolutely, it's it's a monster. It can play extremely uh, precise, tight, controlled bass, but so much it fills a big room. Typically, you're matching it with something like a reference uh, tower speaker, or something like that. That's the, where we see it most often. But it's got a thousand watts in this one, five hundred per channel. And it's got these big drivers and all these settings here, and you can see these chrome tabs if you want to do speaker line. You have adjustments based on your room, you know, EQ settings and things like that. EQ settings for a sub, that's a new. Usually you're controlling the hertz, but not so much. Either. Yeah, no, so we have the filters if you want to, like a low pass filter, but you also have your room position. Let's say you have it in a corner of a room or something like that. If that's, really, about reflections. that's really cool. Now we can get a little better, little better price point. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> bit more accessible here. This is a KF92, so this is not released yet. It's coming. This is with you. Sure, it's coming out early next year. This is a similar idea to this one, where we've got these two two drivers in a forced canceling arrangement. And so what that does is it allows the speaker vibrations to get basically nullif voided, nullified, so this doesn't vibrate. It's extremely stable. The sound is extremely tight and precise. And again, we have all these settings here. So we have five different room settings. You know, it's in the wall, against the wall, in the corner of a room. If you have it in an apartment and you're worried about your neighbors, there's a setting for that. You wouldn't buy this if you're worried about your neighbors. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it, I think. I'm gonna I put would, it with a, yeah. I, I could care less what my neighbors think. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I gotta be safe for now. Yeah. But one day, one day, I'm gonna get one of these big boys. Then we have our cube line of subwoofers here. This is the 12 inch, 10 inch, and 8 inch subwoofers. These are, you know, a tr pretty traditional. They're front firing here. They got a decent amount of power in them. And we, you know, use them in home theater environments. For example, Epson has a pair of these in their uh, projection room right now showing those off. So then we got some outdoor speakers. Yeah, these are our Ventura 5 and Ventura 6. These are outdoor speakers. They've been around for a little while, but they have an incredible amount of output. And the one many, main benefit about them is outdoor speaker. You can use them outdoors and not have to worry about them getting damaged. They're sea and salt spray tested. So it's 70 volt or 8 ohm? Are these 70 volt or 8 ohm? They're not. They're 8 ohm. So they're not usually used in like a hotel or res you know things like that. More often it's in a kind of residential situation. But they're great as long as you're not directly exposing them to water. They can survive more or less anything. Yeah. So water resistant, not so much waterproof. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we're getting into kind of like our sound light series and our products that are smaller installation things for uh, residential, but you could also do different things. So it looks like you're building speaker cabinets here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in a way, yeah. So these are CI50R. These are little guys. You have different trim rings and things like that to make them different colors, but they're often used kind of for ambient sounds, things like that. And they blend in really well with uh, lighting uh, units in, a, in your house. And uh, I have a lot of customers who use these guys for a similar idea where they want it to look good in the house. They take a couple of these, maybe five, and you add an in-wall sub, for example, and you have a home theater, but everything is very hidden and very minimal. So what, what Are these like five and a quarters, or what are these uh, size? So yes, they are. Uh, so this is... Um, 
called the CI 3160RLB. It's a it's a subwoofer at five and a quarter inch. Three of those drivers. Typically, we're finding it. Uh, I'll show you later a subwoofer amplifier we have. With that, it's certified THX sound level. These are really impressive. This is a CI 200 TRB. That's a subwoofer. wow. That is a thin line subwoofer. We have the Q series here, so we have all different shapes. You have the, the round in three different sizes. You have the five and a quarter, six and a half, and eight inch. Uh, again, same idea, just square, and then finally rectangle. And then if I maybe can go in here, this is our CI 200 RR. This is going to be a big guy. It's really our best in ceiling speaker we have available. What size is that? What size is that? Eight inch. Eight inch. And so this is per those run? 800 each. We have a square version of it too, and finally we've recently come out with a six and a half inch uh, version of this guy. So this is going to be available also early 2020. Oh wow, so it's brand new. Yes, sir. Brand new product, so great. So these are your in-wall uh, front channels? Exactly. These are our bigger ones, typically in a bigger room, in a dedicated home theater. Uh, use these for centers also? Yes, sir. Yeah, so this is, any of these can be used for left, center, or right, whatever you prefer. You notice here you have some different options. Yeah. Um, this is new, 3160 reference, so you have the one, you know, uh, three six and a half inch uh, drivers. I really like the copper. Yeah, the, the copper with the black, this is our like foundry model, it's the reference kind of rev uh, look. You know, you have the bigger one here, they made the smaller one that's coming out soon. And then this is the R series level, so this and this are like about the same quality here. And these are our reference, the highest of the line. And this is coming out next year? Early next year, yes. Early next year. Yeah, it'll be shipping. So it's available to order, but it'll be shipping early 2020. Okay, great. And so we got some on-wall speakers. So this is our T-Series, our ultra-thin. So if you remember the uh, installation ones that were very thin, this is the kind of the on-wall version of that. So we have this T301. It's the biggest one here. Very thin. And it mounts on there. All you need to do is install a bracket. and it, uh, uses gravity to slide into place and it stays there. It's locking or? No, it's got like um, basically like a little tab where you slide it in and it, it yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do we got down here? We have our sound bars, our two sound bar sizes. This is our subwoofer amplifier. So with the uh, in-wall subwoofers we were talking about, it's it, we use that to give that THX level sound and, and really power them because they, they're passive. And then it's our th uh, thin line subwoofer. It's called the T2. Are those in-wall also or are they just? The, this is standalone, and you just put, you can arrange it. And you know, we have a lot of people use this when they don't have a lot of space. It's the idea that with this thin stuff, you don't have a lot of space. You can kind of put it off in the corner, and it, and it still looks good. I see, I see. I love these. Uh, LSX colors, they're fantastic. I mean, I love the colors. Yeah, they're really. You guys bright. did a really good job putting the fabric on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're really happy with that. These actually, these stands were recently come out here for these LSX. They're made specifically for those. We also have the desk stand, so you can put it wherever you want. And finally, the wall bracket that you see here. And this allows you to spin the speaker around. Oh, that's great. And then it has a little tab in here, so if you want to wire your speakers through the wall, it allows you to do that. I don't know if you can come through here one last thing. I can show you all the connections. Oh, yeah. You want to take a look at all the connections this has? So I was talking about it earlier, but you have here your optical, your aux, your sub out, your network, and you have a, uh, the ability to connect to the slave unit. But basically it just means you can do your TV, your, your turntable, everything you want to connect, and it's really easy to do. I especially like the green. Oh yeah, green is extremely popular. <laughs> I like the gold accent, and then you have that red in the middle there. It's really sharp look, and it's uh, you know it's just designed to give you a kind of unique look. And we have that Michael Young signature there. He's the designer of these. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's Sounds really good. An accent there. We just have these guys going to give you a little taste of what it can sound like. But another example of these in action, you can have multi rooms, so you can have multiple pairs all synced up, all playing the same thing at the same time. Amazing. Well, I think that's it here at the Kef booth. Thanks so much for your time, Dan. Appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.